sometimes you've got to make some changes. Now that we've got that minor change out of the way, I wanted to share with you some of the changes we have made to the cabin since we have returned back from our trip. We've been here just over a month and there has been a lot of change. I also wanted to share that we had our second guest come, let you know who that is and let them share their thoughts on what they thought about their stay here. All right guys, let's get on with this video. As we stated, this property had not been lived in for a long time when we purchased it. So this front entrance is what we arrived to upon getting to the property. We have now vast improve this so now here's the entrance that you see when you come to the property we added an extra layer of landscaping timbers to the walkway in to give a little bit more definition my wife also added these edges around the front entrance area here to give this a little bit more definition as you can see cleaned it up a whole lot added some of her stuff in here redid all the rock inside of it and she also pressure washed all the walking stones off just to make everything look better so the curb appeal definitely improved with this one of the first things we knew we needed to get done was to stain and seal the cabin as they had not been done in many years. As you can see here the stain or the seal that you would see on the cabin normally was wore off pretty bad. So now we will show you what it looks like when this is completed the way that it's supposed to be. It looks so much better. So here is the new look with the stain so we actually did stain and seal the porch as well as you can see that looks a whole lot better. And as you come up, here's the exact same view you have seen from the previous video. And it just looks so much better. And now it's also just being more taken care of. And we're going to get a lot more life out of this cabin. So what we have left to do here is the columns. And this very last column right down here, there's actually a bird nesting in there. So we have decided to wait and come back and do them probably later next fall. These pictures will show you the before and after and will give you a better understanding of why we are so happy with the final outcome of this project for the improvement that it made to the cabin. One of the other things we added in was this fire pit. We added this in because we knew we'd like to have fires and we figured when we had company over they would like to have fires as well. This again is a really cool add-on and again the credit goes to my wife. So as y'all can see the trend, I really don't do crap. She's doing most of this stuff. So one of the big changes that we've made to the house was when we first moved in we had this unit here and basically this is just an in-wall sort of heat pump air conditioning unit and it did okay for the open spaces here in the living room as you see but when you got back into the bathroom area there or the bedroom area there, it did not carry over very well. So we've replaced this now with a new heat pump that I will show you now. So here you see our York 2 ton 16 sear heat pump. This thing has been great since we've got it installed. We're hoping that this will help cut down on our energy bill because it's gonna be a lot more efficient than the previous system that you've seen in the wall back there. But this thing has been absolutely fabulous. This has been our most expensive upgrade so far, but so far it's also been the one we've probably enjoyed the most as well. So when we moved in here for the RV hookup closer to the house, I did have water, but I only had this 20 amp plug that while it worked good because we do have the solar on board I still wanted more power so I worked with my dad and we actually added in this 50 amp breaker box so it's actually got a 50 30 and a 20 amp service to it and this thing has been great as you see I've got my power fully hooked up to it it's worked out well we've got all the lines coming it's running straight off the breaker box but this has been a great install and I enjoy having it right here by the house we also added in this fireplace this is a full propane fireplace it's ventless and we added this in just to help out during the winter months if it does dip down too cold that the heat pump won't help so this will be our heat during the winter and so far we're really liking it and it worked out really well and fits in the spot we put it in greatly i wanted to show this also so this is my netgear router but the cool thing that goes to this is this is hooked up to fiber internet so i'm currently getting speeds of 1000 meg down and 100 meg up so as we all know when we're out traveling on the road internet is always a struggle but having this thing has been a dream and that is probably the most thing i've enjoyed about being back at the cabin is the internet so as stated we had our second guest here our first guests were of course mike and leanna from the youtube channel the dry campers if you haven't checked out their channel then you're really missing out so go over and check them out but we had a blast with them as our first guest here at our new cabin and they basically help us break the place in 
Thank you, Mike and Leanna, for being our first guest. This rig, of course, that you are seeing now with the drone footage shown is our second guest. But the cool thing about this thing is this is me actually driving their rig onto my property. So in my search of looking for our next RV, I wanted to drive a fifth wheel and I was given the offer to pull this one to see how it feels. So I actually met our guests down the road and I was able to pull their RV onto our property. So as you can see, we're going slow here, but I do assure you no RVs were hurt during the making of this film. But it was really a blast and a learning experience to drive this, but I like showing it this way too because this does give you a good aerial overview of what it's like coming into our property. It is a bit narrow, but as you can see, very easily doable. You just got to take your time and get through it. But it also shows you kind of where we live and how our property is set up that it's kind of on the back of a dead end road. So I thought that would be neat to show here, but I will let you uh, watch driving onto the property here. You tell me how I did down in the comments. I hope I did okay. Okay, but I can assure you I made it through no damage to the property or the RV so that was uh, really cool and I'm really thankful for the experience that they allowed me to do this and to kind of get a feel for how they feel a class A to a fifth wheel I will tell you in my opinion drive totally different so it was a uh, true good lesson to learn and to be able to have now the experience of driving both at this point we are making the final approach into the main part of our property and what you're going to see as we enter the property here I am actually going to go to the right side of that circle driveway you see just at the top of the screen and his wife is driving my car so she is going to go to the left side I'm going to pull their RV immediately in front of the spot and you kind of can see the pole here where everything is set at uh, at the top of the screen as well but again all this is a pretty straightforward shot it's pretty much just a circle in circle out kind of property driveway we do plan on getting all this asphalted eventually and trying to level it up a little bit more it does need to be made a little bit more level but it was really cool driving this thing and pulling it in here just to know that I can do it now if I do decide to go with that fifth wheel so thank you all again for the opportunity to do this and here is some final drone footage of the entire five acres of our property and this was brought to you courtesy of Larry and Alice from the YouTube channel Downsizing Makes Sense. Yes, we have some super mega YouTube channel guests at our property and they were amazing. We really enjoyed the time that we got to spend with them. Thank you all so much for your visit and here are their thoughts on their stay here. Here we are at Camper Life Cabin. Comp Camper Life Compound. Thanks to William for putting up with us for almost a couple weeks here. We are mooch docking. We got full hookups. We got 50 amp. We got lots of area for puppy to run around. We've got bunnies. And what's the best thing? Yeah, this place was awesome. The state park. Yeah, so oh. really close to here is uh, Fall Creek Falls State yes. Park. We've been there three times yes. since we've been here. The hikes are awesome and like we still, every time we go, we find more waterfalls. You know I love waterfalls, so it's like, I want to stay here just to use him so I could go see waterfalls. Yeah, he's in a really good location here. It's it's kind of rural, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but it's close to some really cool stuff. So we've really enjoyed being here. He picked a great spot, and he's got an awesome spot for us. And if you can see behind us, we got the full hookups going. It is amazing here. And the people here in Tennessee have been amazing. They've been so friendly. Yeah, and William and Jessica have been awesome, awesome, awesome hosts. hosts. Except for those rotten little dogs of theirs. <laughs> they keep keep making Scrappy angry. And the bunnies. Love the bunnies. The bunnies, no, I don't like the bunnies. I they love make, the bunnies. They make her crazy. They make her crazy. <laughs>